In today's video, I wanted to take you along with me to the largest bonsai nursery in the United States. We're looking forward to seeing this place. I've been wanting to go for a while, and so they're having their fall sale, so this is the best opportunity to go. So let's dive in. Nice crepe vernal. Oh yeah. I need to do the branching on my own. This year I'm really gonna focus on my deciduous tree, getting the right branching. This one's grafted. This is kind of a banana that was converted over. This is his signature tree now. That's one that's been in all the shows. This place is infinite. It was huge. They have, I would say it's well over a football field length of greenhouses here. Hey, so as we're going through this nursery, it's hard to find something to take home. When you have a variety of this large to be able to choose from, being trying to find which one you want to take home is a hard decision. Uh, it depends on what type of bonsai you want to do, whether you want to do an indoor you want to stick to ficus and uh, fukian tea and jade would be a good one to be for an indoor. If you want an outdoor, a juniper is a very good hardy tree to be uh, in your uh, in your collection. If you're starting out with bonsai, that typically is the one that a lot of people go with is the juniper. Um, those are very easy to maintain, and with wiring and maintenance, you're able to make them look like a bonsai sooner than you would with a uh, deciduous tree that has leaves. So a pine or a juniper is something that uh, is probably more desired because you can get a better looking tree in a shorter period of time. Uh, but it all depends on what you want. So uh, I'm still looking through trying to figure out what I want to get. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards those those small little pines. Uh, I don't have many pines, so I may pick up one of those. But let's continue looking around and see what we find. I love these uh, trident maple groves. So the these are actually very easy to put together if you're a beginner. You can easily get a few cuttings or uh, some of uh, individual trident maples that are relatively the same size 
and you put about five of them together and you can create these nice little groupings of trees. So you get one of those little junipers and you take care of it. And then after many years of care, you can have something that looks as amazing as this. Another popular beginner is the Chinese elm. This is another one that's really good to have indoors. This one can be kept indoors as well. So if you're not a fan of the, this, the uh, conifers, like the pines or the junipers, you can get a Chinese elm that you're able to keep indoors. Outside the greenhouses, they have this area called the pad, which has a variety of larger specimens of trees that you're able to create bonsai out of. Here's the shipping facilities where they package and ship these bonsais and pots all over the world. So this is a five needle pine by a rock. Look at that. A lot of with bonsai is you want to try to recreate what you see in nature. This looks like a tree that's on the edge of a cliff. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, uh, I was given a kind of a glimpse into uh, Brussels uh, bonsai, as you can see the uh, facility behind me. Uh, it was definitely a good experience. I enjoyed it. I didn't really find anything that stood out to me, but uh, if anyone is looking to get into bonsai, here is a perfect place to come in all of Branch, Mississippi to kind of get an expertise opinion on what to buy, and they have all sorts of varieties. And so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.